Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, we're still in probability so in this video you will learn about on how to use Venn diagrams to solve probability problems now well, let's look at example 13 there are 60 students in the sixth form of a certain school mathematics is studied by 27 of them biology by 20 and 22 students study neither mathematics nor biology a. Find the property that a randomly selected student studies both mathematics and biology. Actually, for this question, we can represent the data by using Venn diagram. Let x be the number of students studying both mathematics and biology. So the Venn diagram will look like this. We have two circles. One represents mathematics and another one represents biology. And we have x in the middle which represent the number of students studying both mathematics and biology. So since the question says the mathematics is studied by 27 of them, so that means in this part, we put 27 minus x. And the question says the biology is studied by 20 students, so we put 20 minus x for this part. And the outer part, we put 22, because the question says 20 students study neither math nor biology. So, we have completed with our Venn diagram and we know that the total number of students is 60 so given the figures in the Venn diagram we can write it as 27 minus x plus x plus 20 minus x plus 22 equals to 60 then we will get x equals to 9 so this means that the number of students studying both math and biology is 9 we are not finished yet because the question asks the property of students studies both mathematics and biology. Since we know that the number of students studies both mathematics and biology is 9, then we have to divide by the total number of students, which is 16. Simplifying this, it will become 3 over 20. For question B, find the property of a student who doesn't study biology given that a student is a mathematics student. This is a conditional probability. By referring the conditional probability formula, you can change this to probability doesn't study biology intersect with a mathematics student divided by probability a mathematics student. By referring to our Venn diagram earlier, you can find that the probability of a student who doesn't study biology intersect with a mathematics student is uh, 27 minus 9 over 60 whereas the probability of a mathematics student is 27 over 60. Simplifying this, you will get 2 over 3 as a final answer. Now we move to question C. A student is selected at random. Determine whether the event studying mathematics is statistically independent of the event studying biology. Now if two events are independent, then the probability of mathematics intersect with biology is equal to probability of biology times probability of math. Now let's look if it satisfies this equation. The probability of math in the size biology is 3 over 20. This is based on our Venn diagram. And the probability of math is 27 over 60. And also the probability of biology is 20 over 60. So if you multiply these two this will give you 3 over 20 so they are equal therefore the events are independent well that's all for now thank you for watching please do the exercises on this slide